Welcome to another SCCT First Committee interview. This is, I'm Dr. Thomas with uh, from Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio, Texas, here with Dr. Shanayan from William Beaumont Hospital in Michigan. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. So a lot of the uh, projects presented today talked about uh, the use of CT out of the emergency department. There's several randomized trials showing that it can be safe, cost-effective, prevent admissions. Uh, I was wondering where you think this is going, why it's not more globally implemented uh, across the, the United States and across the, across the world, really. Well, that's a great question because um, we have seen, you know, from uh, one, three ma major randomized control trials that CT does work and um, it's highly cost-effective compared to the usual care. And um, in our own state, we have looked at, you know, the use of CT in the emergency department, and it really varies by the center type. Like in, at our center, which is a large academic center, 60% of our CTs, um, cardiac CTs, are from the emergency room. However, many other centers don't even do one. And, and the reason for that is that establishing an ED program for coronary CT angiography is quite challenging. It has to be a multidisciplinary approach. It has to involve the emergency room physicians, the CT angiographers, the interpreting physicians. So you have to have stellar technologists, a dedicated uh, nursing staff, and um, a certain level of expertise in order to actually select the appropriate patients and to prepare those patients and to interpret accordingly, according to the guidelines, and to be able to communicate these results so that the right thing is done for the patient. So you can see that you know, it's a multi-pronged approach and it's a multiple steps involved that also involves the hospital administration to comply with such a program and to be able to um, provide this. And another, um, challenge is that whenever we establish an emergency room program, we have to be available for a certain number of hours per day. And uh, so it can't really be, you know, very successful if we are doing the banker's hours kind of a thing. And um, so extending the program to be able to read um, off hours and on weekends, all of these are very practical challenges to consider while uh, establishing an emergency room program. I know um, we, we've looked at some of these in, in our in our military system, and we have a, the distinct advantage of having a, a closed loop system where we, you know, we capture the patients quite easily, and, and, and that's been one of the advantages that we found in using CT out of the ER, and the fact that we we can refer them to the cardiology clinic and they can be seen quite quickly, and we can track that. Uh, I wondered how you guys overcome that that kind of problem in a in a more global system where there's multiple groups involved in a, in a larger hospital setting. Yes, and that is uh, definitely a thing to consider, is um, not all of the hospital systems are closed-loop systems. And um, so in, in order to establish such a program, you know, again, it's the triage that's the most important thing. And if we are able to defer any testing that might be essential for the patient that may not be necessary in the acute setting but could be done, you know, after they're discharged from the emergency room, um, then again, they are lost to follow up for the most part if because we don't know what happens to these patients for the most part if, it's, if they're not part of a study or a registry or um, some kind of a trial. So that is, again, a challenge. So in order f to compensate for that, the interpreting physicians have to have this expertise to be able to say it's safe to tell, ask these patients to go home and, and to trust that whether or not they have follow-up testing, it would still be safe. So that's one of the things. And, and that's why in the U.S., uh, an acceptable miss rate of acute coronary syndrome is less than 1%, which is quite stringent. And uh, our randomized controlled studies have shown, you know, an acceptable miss rate. And that's why it's, it's such a great modality to use. Well, thank you very much for your time. I thought that was great insight. Uh, for more information uh, from the CT experts, visit us at youtube.com slash first and imaging. I'm Dustin Thomas, and uh, thanks for joining us.